Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Holistic Hearts. I am Kristen Chadwick, your host for this lovely show, Holistic Hearts podcast, and my transformational life coaching journey is a wholehearted Christian approach to spiritual growth and transformational healing. I wanted to take this episode and answer a question of what is spirit-empowered life coaching? It was sent in by a listener, and I love this question. It was like a, er, hold up, can you please tell me a little bit more about what your style of coaching is about? And I really felt um, honored that somebody would be honest in that question, and I love it because it's going to set the tone. So here we go. So first, I want to just introduce myself as a host, and it's always good to know who you're listening to in this beautiful September month. I love September. Um, It just brings new beginnings. It brings, um, I don't know, it's my birthday month. So I wanted to just kind of do a, hey, if you have just started listening, you don't know that much about me. So I'm going to do a quick intro to myself and why I started Holistic Hearts. And then I'm going to answer your question, what is Spirit Empowered Transformational Life Coaching? So I am a huge lover of delighting in Jesus. I am a mama of four beautiful kids, almost 15, 12, and twins that are almost 11. I am a former box checker of all things. I loved to dot my T's and wait, dot my I's and cross my T's. And all of a sudden, I felt like, you know what? My heart's not connected. And so that was the beginning of an aha moment for me, which is what birthed out Holistic Hearts, which I'll go in just a minute. I am also a daughter of two amazing people. One is uh, he was a an executive coach before it was even a thing. And then my mom, she is an amazing uh, licensed professional counselor. I am one of four myself. I'm the youngest of four siblings. I have three older brothers and um, I am the girl on the end. I was definitely a tomboy growing up and uh, <laughs> that's a whole story in itself. Um, well, part of my story, if we fast forward to now, just thinking back to when my kids were younger, I wanted to go back to grad school to become a counselor like my mom. And I, uh, was accepted about two weeks before class started. I had a check in my spirit and something just told me, Hey, Kristen, just press pause. And so I did, I yielded. And I waited and about two days later, a good friend of mine's husband called me and asked if I would be their podcast producer. Um, You may know them. It's the Dobsons. So Ryan and Laura Dobson, they are the hosts and owners of Rebel Parenting. And so for about five and a half years, I was uh, their producer. It was such an honor to do that, to um, have Ryan just really believe in me and (laughs) throw me into the deep end and say, Hey, I think you would make an excellent producer. And so what I did for five and a half years was I read every marriage and parenting book that we could get our hands on. And I created content. I was a part of the show. Sometimes I was a co-host with Laura on moms in the mic. Um, and then just slowly felt the Lord, um, nudging my heart that it was, I, I did my job. I had launched rebel parenting. I had become one of the top 25, um, podcasts for kids and family. Um, my connection with Brian and Laura were, it was just like a family. And so through a bunch of different circumstances, I was able to go out on my own and start my own podcast, which is Holistic Hearts. And what was birthed out of, or what came out of that really was I had all this information in my business life of marriage and parenting books, 
um, amazing conversations with Ryan and Laura, with so many unbelievable authors and speakers and getting to process with um, some amazing people out there. And it was all just stuck in my brain. And then you throw in just life and experience and my hunger for knowing Jesus and delighting in Jesus and, uh, and our marriage and how we um, had pretty big uh, transformation in our own marriage and transformation in our own parenting through coaching and counseling and really having a strong community come around us and encourage us. And I, it felt like there was so much in my brain, so much in my heart that the Lord said, it's time to uncork what's in your head. And kind of the joke that I would say to my friends for, for a while was, I feel like my brain is constipated. <laughs> and so when the Lord said, hey, it's time to uncork things, that is when I started Holistic Hearts. I started writing on my blog. I started producing my own podcast. And then slowly but surely, I was being asked to coach and I started to create courses and um, really did a deep dive. And how can I become a, a coach that is backed up by the International Coaching um, Federation and so I, I did a deep dive into becoming certified. So, and I also do podcast coaching and podcast management on the side uh, as my main business um, as well, which is such a delight and a gift to be able to um, come along other coaches and people and, and women in ministry who have a heart to um, just really pour out what God has given them to speak. And so that is a gift in itself. So thanks to one of our listeners, I, I, I wanted to answer this question specifically, but I felt like there needed to be a backstory. So that's why I just shared all of that with, of who I am. And the listener asked, what is spirit empowered transform transformational life coaching? And such a great question. So transformation as you know, is a process. It's a metamorphosis. It's the butterfly. It's the caterpillar going into the cocoon to become a butterfly. It is a process. You guys, I have been in coaching off and on since my mm, probably a good 14 years now. I think I started around 28 um, officially. And <clears throat> That transformation from when I was 28 or 29 to now where I'm turning 40 in a couple of weeks and is, is unreal. And I could not have done it without the coaches beside me in real time. So the coaching side of transformational life coaching, the coaching is about believing in a person to discover their maximum potential and supporting them as you take on that responsibility. I would not be here today if my coach took on all of the responsibility of my transformation. It wouldn't have been a transformation. It would have just been a behavior modification. So coaching is about believing that you have the ability, the solutions within you, the um, connection with God, all of those things and believing that you have it. And I am here to support you and helping you take that responsibility. So let's talk about spirit empowered. Spirit empowered means that in our coaching conversations, we will have an invisible yet tangible third party who's always helping lead the conversation, the Holy Spirit. I personally believe that the Holy Spirit is always guiding leading, nudging every coaching conversation. I am very intentional about my coaching calls with my clients. I love to pray over them beforehand. I love to pray during. Um, and I just really believe that there is power in um, allowing space for the Holy Spirit to come in. So part of my 
if you are a spirit empowered, um, life coaching client is that I create space for you to ask Jesus questions during our conversations. There's a beautiful way, as I've spoken before on courses, on podcasts, that I truly believe that Jesus kind of does a backdoor into your heart through what I call encounters. And if you haven't listened to last week's new encounter, go do that. I also did an Instagram reel, thanks to my daughter's help and how to figure out a TikTok reel, um, explaining what an encounter is. And an encounter just simply is using your imagination to talk with Jesus. So I want to share a story with you. One of my clients was, it was one of the most beautiful breakthrough moments um, where she and I, we decided to do an encounter and Jesus really revealed a deep place in her heart that needed tending. He gently revealed something that was holding her back from living freely as a woman with her husband. So it was through this, I mean, it was not even more than 10 minutes encounter. She was able to become aware of a deep seated lie. Um, she became aware that she needed to develop a plan to talk and open up with her husband and just that freedom of feeling seen and known by Jesus that he went underneath everything that we were talking about up on the surface. And he went, no, let's talk about that on a deeper level. And she was able to go out and talk to her husband about what she was experiencing during um, a certain scenario in their marriage. So I just love that because it's Jesus is so much more efficient (laughs) than I could ever be. And I love that we can invite him into coaching conversations through encounters. Another one of my clients, almost every client call, we do an encounter. And it's always so sweet to see what Jesus has to share with her. So the coaching really helps bring a transformational, faith-filled experience to help you um, wander through life with, with intention and joy and faith and hope and goodness and, and as well offering spaces for validation of exactly where you're, ha- where you're at. And with coaching, we really are looking at present to future. Um, there's not, counseling is more of present to working on your past, which you can do a lot of future thinking with counseling, but, but counseling really helps dig into those um, deeper processes that may need to be processed out. So, <clears throat> Okay. So how long is a typical session with me and how long is the whole process? So whether we focus on one decision or it's a big life decision or transition that you're making, it's all a process. So for me, everyone, again, I'm going to say this over and over again, but every client is different, but how I set up is You can have one call with me. If you have something like a big life decision that you just need help processing through, I do have one-on-one sessions um, for one time. You can also choose to do three months or six months. And then we can talk about renewing after that that point. I typically love to have long-term clients like six-monthers because we get to enjoy more of the year's seasons our seasons of life bring up different scenarios through every month. So um, that is my favorite is the six monthers, but I have done one-on-one clients and I love those too. I actually had a call with um, actually a good friend of mine. We just did a one-on-one uh, Zoom call for her to help kind of clarify through Um, some decisions that she was making. And this is what she said about that call. I came to Kristen for support with determining my own personal goals. 
She is beyond amazing. She listened carefully, asked great questions, and really empowered me to come up with goals that spoke to me. I'm so grateful for the time and expertise that Kristen gave me. I have already noticed a difference in my thoughts and feelings towards my reach, reaching my goals. I cannot thank Kristen enough for what she's done and how she can connect with her clients during coaching. Just amazing. And that was just a one session. So <clears throat> like I said, there's, there's, it, it's tailored to, to meet your needs. So if you only need that one session, just to bring some clarity or there's three months or six months. So let's talk about what kind of coaching packages do I offer? So again, I'm going to say it again, each client, it's totally tailored to your own goal. It is your life. It is not my decision. You know your life the best. And so it's all determined on your uh, goal, your action steps, um, what your capabilities are right now, what's your desire, your passion, um, your time commitment, all of those things. So I offer three main coaching style packages. And the first one is holistic wellness coaching. And this one is like the broad spectrum. Let's talk about mind, body, and spirit. It is, it is holistic. So one of my clients, for instance, she needed to set a goal to build strength spiritually and physically, which in turn is helping her build strength and growth emotionally, which is now going to help her relationships. So this style of coaching is where the rubber meets the road and transformation happens. And, and so with that, we explore how to fully live. We tap into who you were created to be and we choose intentionally and mindfully what your action steps are while empowering others that are around you to make similar choices in their day to day. So that's holistic wellness. So you could talk about working out. We could talk about, um, spiritually what needs to happen. We could be talking about food. Um, however, I am not a certified nutrition coach, but I have had my fair share of nutrition. Um, hmm let's say miles. <laughs> so I do what I, I know what has, um, worked for me while also leaning into the Holy spirit. And, um, so that is holistic wellness. So the second choice is kingdom identity coaching. This coaching package is we walk through the heavenly commission course together. Maybe you don't know what the heavenly commission course is. So I'll give you a quick rundown. It's a course where we talk about who God is, who you are, how to hear from God, your God-given identity, tools to help clarify your mission, creating your mission statement, and then creating goals. So what we would do is I would come alongside you through this eight-week course and really just process through, um, walk through questions that you have, process through your um desires, your passion, the little moments that you have felt God closest when you felt further away, all of those things that is wrapped up into the kingdom identity coaching. And that one is one of my favorite coaching to, to do because it is so impactful and it was birthed out of the process that the Lord, um, really guided me through. And so that one is, um, totally a joy to bring to you. But one of my clients <clears throat> gave me this quote from the heavenly commission coaching. She said, Kristen's heavenly commission course and eight weeks of personal coaching helped me at a new stage in life and career at the Lord's prompting. I had quit my longtime job and started a new business, but I had never written a personal mission statement with Kristen's great question asking and listening skills, as well as hearing the Lord speak in my own times with him. I now have written identity and mission statements. I'm excited to walk in the certainty of being his named, called, and equipped woman of God doing noble things bigger than myself. I love that. And I love especially that it's not just the coaching, it's actually the course, but also 
it's the time alone with the Lord and having those on ramps and just tools to anchor you into the truth of you have a God given identity, mission, and calling on your life. So that is the kingdom identity coaching package. The last one that I offer is the longing for more coaching package. And this is for somebody who's feeling really disconnected. Maybe you've walked away from the church. Maybe um, you were raised one way and now you're not quite sure what to think. Maybe you're so disconnected with your heart. Um, Maybe you you were like me uh, about 15 years ago where I was so done checking the box of Bible study and serving on the ministry team and, and doing all of these things for God. But I was, I was so disconnected in my heart. So this type of coaching is simply creating space for you to reconnect, re-engage and deepen your relationship with your, with, with Jesus through encounters on our coaching call, through listening prayer, through guided journaling, through book studies. So this is a very tender coaching process um, package, the longing for more. It's, it's one of the sweetest ones that I enjoy doing with my coaches or coaches because it really helps um, clients discover that God's been there all along and that he's so much better than we think. One of <clears throat> one client, um, that has done, gone through that coaching has said, she said, uh, God is so much cooler than I ever imagined. And that for me is everything. I mean, it's so worth it to be able to, to witness that not only, and to be honored to watch that transformation happen, but to also know that she is fully alive again is such a gift Another quote from another client, she said, have you, I love this because she started it with a question. Have you ever thought about the opportunity of creating a two-way relationship with Jesus or going beyond the checking the boxes, steps of being a Christian, like going to church, praying, paying tithes? Kristen does such an amazing job at suggesting different ways to re-engage your heart and takes you on a journey to dig deeper into your soul, to be able to find out what you individually want for your from your spiritual relationship as a father. Oh, so good. I, it is such a joy to be on this side of coaching, to watch lights, light, eyes light up with light and joy and hope and purpose and connection and intention and, and empowerment and freedom, all of those things. And that is what fires me up about coaching because I know that coaching works and I know that coaching would work for you. And personally, I've, I have lived it out. Um, so if you are on the fence about whether you feel like you need coaching, I offer a 30 minute free discovery call. So I want you don't be shy. I will post a link below of my Calendly link. It's an online scheduling tool. Just opt in for 30 minutes. See if it's a good fit. See if one of these coaching packages, the three coaching packages are right for you. I would love to partner with you. I would love to come alongside and believe in you and just cheer you on in your own journey. We have all been to places of despair, of feeling like you're in a dark night of the soul, um, feeling numb, feeling a lack of purpose. And I just want you to know that I'm cheering you on and I would love to talk to you. And I can't wait to see who, um, who makes this brave new step because it is brave. It's courageous to take a step for yourself, um, and to move forward in your growth and your transformation. So, Jesus, I just pray for whatever woman that is listening, that is feeling this prompting on her heart to say yes to coaching, to say yes for that longing and for more, to be honest with herself, um, to, to saying yes to kingdom identity, kingdom purpose, and kingdom mission to the woman who is saying yes to holistic wellness that just wants a reboot. Um, Lord, just be with each woman. 
I pray for each one to be blessed by your eyes looking into their hearts and just to be face to face with you ultimately. Ah, all right. In Jesus name. Amen. Hey, thanks for sending that question in. What is spirit empowered life coaching? I really appreciate those questions. You guys keep them coming in. You can send them on Instagram at Kristen Fields Chadwick or on our Facebook group, mind, body, spirit, holistic faith for moms. Um, any, anyway, or you can email me. Um, I would love to hear from you about more questions that you guys have. All right. Take care, ladies. Bye-bye.